And then just underneath the typewriter is a little lizard. Let's see if we can get up here without freaking out the lizard. We only freaked him out already. Anyway, well, I went into, uh, I came out to see this thing I'm working on, and I saw that little lizard. So I thought, well, there he is. He's coming out. Right over there by the edge, by the M key. There's his the little head. Tiny lizard. That's one of the things I really love about living in the desert. Is we have these really great little uh, animals, lizards and horny toads and all kinds of stuff like that, and they're really beautiful. And when this house was first being built, I hired this guy, and uh, I hired this guy. And this is back in 81, I think, or 82, somewhere in there. And he was the guy that was working on the foundation. And I came outside. I think there was no outside at that time, so everything was outside because we were just building it. But there was this horny toad, and I really love horny toads. And this horny toad was flatter than a pancake. Because this guy stomped the horny toad. He got replaced. That wasn't the reason he got replaced, but he got replaced. It was, I had to have a little chat with him about that. Like, man, you're going to kill, you're going to, you know. Anyway, this thing I'm working on. It's a, uh, there's a whole story that goes along with this, and you can come up with your own story. Let's see if this thing is going, because I've been having some trouble with this thing. Yeah, it's going. You come up to this thing, and there's this granite rock. Those two things over there, those two pins I put there to illustrate the size of people. And then you come up. I can't even see the screen, so I don't even know what you're seeing. And then you have these, this, and it comes into this. It comes over into this. Now there's a whole story about this. You can see how fragile the earth is right here. This is where 
I was standing to dig this and you can see how just by me standing there how the difference in what I my my uh, imprint on that land right there relative to that uh, it's very fragile it's fragile just like a big bag of patchel. Okay, well, uh, it's plenty, plenty nice enough to go for a walk today. Let's check the wind. So, I might go for a walk. I, I, I was going for a walk a lot because I was trying to lose weight, which is a good thing. But it was also very healthy for me, you know. Uh, but the wind started really blowing really bad, and the freaking weather was really cold. And I haven't been doing it as much. And uh, I need to get back into it. But I've lost plenty of weight. I've lost plenty of weight. Let's see if you can get a idea. But I went from 228 to like one like 182 right now, which is I never thought that I would be. You know, I mean that's really that's really light for me 182. You know, when I was 18, 19 years old, I was 185. So anyway, I just made that video. Let's see if there's anything else to show you around here. There's not really much to uh, show this kid. Did a drawing on my my chalkboard, Eric's son. These are some interesting things that I haven't shown. I don't believe. Boy, these are in these are in need of some repair. These are very, very old pieces. Very, very old pieces. Very old pieces. Well, just wandering around now, I'm not doing much. I'm doing this one experiment. This is what happens to mountain high, uh, fat free yogurt when you. Uh, when you leave it in the refrigerator and it goes bad, but you don't throw it out, you just keep it. So we'll see what it is. Drum roll. And here we go. Oh God, what is this gonna look like? Ah, it's not that bad. It's got this really weird, it's almost like, uh, Huh, it's separating really weird, seems like. It's all watery right there. That's what's happening to it. So we'll just put the lid back on. We will just let it continue to do what it's going to do. And there you can see the thing that I just got through showing you outside. And that's it. Okay, I'm Hella Roddy. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.